Hey y'all, just a fast update on what I've been doing with my Kotobukiya Resin Cubidae. Um, like I had said before, I, I, I had uh, just cleaned it up and uh, now it's all flash free and sanded down and basically uh, if there were any uh, flash lines it's all taken care of. And uh, I've also started uh, pinning, you can see um, the feet. The ankles are all pinned, so they're all set up pretty well. Uh, they they are actually one of the better looking parts of this uh, resin kit, uh, but it starts getting pretty crappy when it comes to the uh, the, the legs and uh, the arms. Uh, when I had done the initial pin, it just it didn't fit at all. It was really a bad fitting. Uh, the size and the and the weight distribution was terrible, so I just I said screw it, and I and I bought some joints. <laughs> so I instead of I took out the pins and um, I added some actual joints into the uh, the waist section. So uh, if you look at the waist section, there's quite a few pins. You know, you, you've got the, the torso pin and the, that front skirt pin. Uh, but here are the actual uh, joints for the, the the legs. You can just attach it, attach it there. There we go. Uh, depending on size, I can move it forward, backward, up and down. But uh, the idea is that uh, the pins with the uh, the legs just had a really poor fitting. Uh, so that was that. Um, the torso, I had to do a double pin for this extremely heavy uh, uh, funnel pack in the back. So. Uh, this ought to be enough to, to hold it up. Actually, it tends to hold up by itself just with a double pin action, but I'm going to have to glue it. Um, but, you know, after I paint. Um, what else did I do? Oh, yeah, I added joints to the arms, or more like the shoulders. Again, it's just because the fitting and, and the, the action of the, the arms just were horrible. Uh, so, you can see I added some just general pins uh, for the, the forearms, but... Um, I did add kind of a ball joint for the, um, the shoulders. This is the hardest part for me, at least. Um, this is basically what they give you as far as where the binders are going to be attached to the um, torso. So if we take a look at the torso, and this is going to be attaching right there. And then you've got the weight of the arms. And if I didn't have this joint, just imagine just a regular pin here. So you've got the weight of the arms, which also include the hands. That's pretty heavy as far as resin's concerned. So think of that. And then you've got somehow this attached as well as this attached. And I seriously have no idea how I'm going to attach these things. I mean, it's just sort of not enough space to really fit in some serious pinnage uh, to, to, to hold the weight of these binders. I'm going to have to figure out what to do. I can't put, I can't put more um, joints on there. There's just not enough space. I can't drill too many holes in it or it's just going to fall apart. Uh, so I'm going to have to figure something out. But uh, after that's basically what I've done. Uh, something I have to do sort of an adjustment is be because of the, um, the leg joints that I added uh, I'm going to have to use some uh, white putty to extend these side skirts because the legs will be sticking out a little too much for this. So what I'll do is just make these a little bit longer so the legs will fit under there correctly. Uh, but beyond that, you know, pin these front pins. It ought to stick pretty well. And uh, yeah. That's basically what I've taken care of. So it's all cleaned up. It's just needs the pinning and some joint work and somehow I have to figure out the binders. But after that, I should be set. So that's my update. Thanks for watching. Peace out.